Assalamu alaikum. In this video, I will explain that any covariance matrix is positive semi definite. So if we have a vector of random variables, then let's say we have uh, its uh, density function. Okay, it can be any density function. Then the covariance matrix, let's call it sigma, is defined as this. Uh, so we integrate over all space and density and x, so this is a vector, minus mu. Mu is the, uh, the mean of this random variable, uh, random vector x. And x minus mu transpose dx, okay, where uh, mu is the expectation value of x, okay, which is of course defined in this case defined as rho x times x dx. And as you can see, this matrix, this is a matrix, of course, this is uh, is n-dimensional. Uh, column vector and this is n dimensional row vector so if we multiply them this is an n by n matrix so this has uh, two properties it is symmetric symmetric and positive semi-definite Symmetric is easy to see because of this form. So basically the ij element of uh, this matrix is covariance between xi and xj, right? So since covariance is symmetric, if we swap xi and xj, it is still the same covariance, so it is symmetric. And what positive semi-definite means is that for any vector, we have V transpose sigma and V. So this is a scalar, right? So this is a row vector, this is a column vector, this is n by n matrix. Uh, positive semi-definite means this is always greater than or equal to zero. So this corresponds to the property of, uh, of variance being non-negative. So in this case, we have many random variables, so it's not easy to just determine one value for variance, but we have this whole set of covariances, but uh, uh, for any vector, this is non-negative, so it means positive semi-definite. So how can we, can we prove this? So this is actually not so difficult. So let's say, uh, let V be an arbitrary vector. So we multiply uh, V transpose V, and so we just apply this definition of uh, covariance matrix. So V transpose uh, integral x minus mu transpose dx times v, okay? Since v is just a constant vector, we can put them inside the integral. Okay, so this becomes rho of x vt x minus mu x minus mu transpose v dx. Note that this is a dot product between x minus mu and v, because it's, this is a row vector and this is a column vector, so it is basically a dot product. And this one here, we can write in this way. Rho of x, uh, this is actually x minus mu transpose v, everything transpose. And this same vector actually appears uh, here. Okay. 
since this is a dot product, it is just a this is just a scalar. So the transpose doesn't mean anything actually. And we have the same numbers here and here. So this is actually a square. So x minus mu transpose v squared dx. Now the density function is always uh, positive or maybe zero. And this is a square of some real number. So it is always non-negative. Therefore, this whole integral is non-negative. Therefore, the matrix sigma is always positive semi-definite. And we are done.